Now, in 2018, The Lancet, which is a really well-respected British medical journal, did a whole issue on the differences that are made when babies are born by cesarean versus uh, vaginally and the long-term impacts on health. My eldest, my lovely boy Alex, was born by emergency cesarean. And if he hadn't been able to be born by cesarean, we wouldn't have him. Cesareans are marvellous. Yeah, but that's brilliant. However, if I had known 22 years ago what I know now about the next one, I could have done so much more to protect his when he was little. So this is not about knocking cesarean. This is just about saying, look, if they don't pass down a birth canal, if they don't pick up their starter kit, then there's going to be a difference. There is recognised that there is a 20% increase in, in the chance of babies who are born by cesarean of having things like asthma and allergies. Um, and they think it's because they get a different starter kit of bacteria. Now, to be clear, that doesn't mean that if your baby is born by cesarean, they will have asthma and allergies. But a 20% right. increase... In it's a higher risk. And, and 20% is a, a significant increase. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that is a, that's a lot of children being affected by their health. Um, and it has long-term implications for their whole life. So anything that we can do that can protect the microbiome when babies need to be born by cesarean or it's chosen that they're born by cesarean is helpful.